Okay, we're moving on. We're moving on. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Mr. Graham W. Elwood. Yeah. Yeah. First things first, I know this is being sponsored by Doritos, and uh, I'm not going to brown nose anybody, okay? Has everyone got that over there? Has everyone got that? I'm not brown nosing anybody. I'm going to shoot this straight. Uh, I'm from Chicago. Hey, a lot of surprise people out there. Half the school is from Chicago. You, you know, everyone. The thing I like about Chicago is you'll be talking to someone, you know, first week of school, you'll be out there talking to someone. Uh, yeah, I'm from Chicago. Oh, you are? What part? Uh, Evanston just north. My roommate's from Chicago. What part? I don't really know, but she's about this tall, huh? She's got kind of blonde hair. Do you know her? Why shouldn't I? You know, there's 10 million people in the Chicago land area. I should know her. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, you're, you're talking. It's registration week. You know, you're a freshman. You're trying to be cool. You're standing in line, you know, waiting for your ID. You're talking. You're, oh, really? You like the weather out of here? Yeah, I'll send you a little twitch in your nose. And you're positive there's a booger there. I mean, you, you know, you're just going, um, uh, yeah, 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 I know, yeah, I know what you're saying. Uh, I'm going to do the other line. I don't like this one. Or even worse, how about this? You're trying to impress a girl. It's about the second or third date. You know, you're out there and things are going smooth. You know, you're footing the bill and everything's going cool. I just brought these roses for you, babe. And she's like, oh, you're so funny and you're so oh, great. And then you're a little kid in the little bit of me tonight when you're sleeping. And you go, you go to your boy, you're slick. And there it is. It's legit. It's like the size of Ohio and it's pulsing. It was, oh, you never, the time you talk to her, you're like, yeah, uh -huh. I really like you too. Uh, you know, that really works well. But uh, a few pointers, you know, you're getting, you're at a party and you're nervous. You don't know if you want to talk to a girl. Something that works for me is good old liquid courage, you know what I mean? Mr. Budweiser, and you kick back with a few of those, and you see the girl, and you go up there. Yeah. So, uh, how's it going? And you think you're being real smooth, but what you're actually saying is, put the bed. Put the bed. And of course, she goes, and walks away. And then your friend says, dude, man, what happened to that babe? She was at her age. I would have been busted for statutory. <laughs> I, I don't need that bad rap so soon, you know what I mean? I, I got a, you know, I got an image thing. <laughs> also, I also like uh, big parties, you know, because it's like a big bragging fest. You guys walk around. Oh, this? It only cost me $120, but that was last year. I don't have the time to get new clothes with all the weightlifting and skydiving that I do. <laughs> Or also, you know, at the beach or some kind of outdoor activity, you know. Guys are taking off their shirts and they're walking around. How do you suck in your gut for three hours? How do you do that? These guys are looking up, get up. They must go in the back and then just go. <laughs> and then come on again. Dude, where's your stuff? Over there, man. Volleyball's that way. <laughs> But uh, getting back to Chicago, being a big city guy that I am, I like uh, I like a lot of you know rap and beatbox and stuff like that. And I tell you, I would pay money, pay money to see someone talk in beatbox. Can you imagine? And now here's Bob emerging with the weather. <laughs> Now Johnny with the sports. Yeah. Thanks, that's all I have for you.